welcome back to the second part of the lesson. Now students, let's see units of time and how to convert units of time. Now remember 60 seconds make one minute, 60 minutes make one hour. You probably had this from your uh, year one or year two and you've been able to memorize this now. Now let's try to convert from one unit of time to another. Now you need to keep to these rules. If you have those rules at the back of your mind, you will always be able to conveniently convert from one unit of time to another. The first rule is identify the units of time. The units of time in the question that you're asked. Identify first the units of time. The second thing is when you're converting from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, you divide. And when you're converting from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, you multiply. I'll explain again. Identify first the units of time in the question. For example, if you're told convert 50 minutes to seconds, what are the two units of time in question? minutes and seconds so you go to the unit of time chart and see where you have minutes and seconds there we have 60 seconds make one minute that's where we have seconds and minutes together then once you know the rule of conversion check if you're converting from smaller to bigger units or bigger to smaller unit which is the smaller unit and which is the bigger of course the smaller units between second and minute is the second between minutes and hour minute is smaller between days and week which comes first days will come before the week between the weeks and the year which comes first first we'll have the weeks before we have the year then we have 365 days in one year days becomes uh, days will come before the year. So the smaller units comes before the bigger one. So always identify which one is the smaller unit and which is the bigger unit in your question so that you will know if you have to divide or multiply. Now we can have an example. It says convert seven hours. 15 minutes to minutes only the question has hours and minutes but it is telling us to convert to minutes so what do we do look for in the unit of time chart look for the one that contains hour and minutes let's see the one that contains hour and minutes that's uh, 60 minutes make one hour that's the one that has minutes and hour in the chat so now we know this is our standard for converting 60 minutes make one hour if 60 minutes make one hour then how many minutes will be in seven hours we don't need to bother ourselves about the 15 minutes because that is in minutes already we only need to convert the seven hours then we add the 15 minutes to it so here we're converting from bigger to smaller. Don't forget, we're converting from a bigger unit, that is hour, to minutes, smaller unit. So it's bigger to smaller. In that case, we multiply. So 7 multiplied by 60, which is our standard for conversion. 7 multiplied by 60 is 420 minutes. Of course, I told you, don't bother about the 15 minutes because it is already in minutes. So add it only to your converted seven hours. And that gives 435 minutes. It's quite easy. Now check your student book and your workbook to see if you still have more exercises to complete. And using this formula, you will be able to complete every one of the questions. Now on unit two, we saw how to use time tables. Of course, you know that the timetable shows you uh, a schedule of time, probably for flight, for bus, 
for a train or even for your studies at home or it could even be for studies in school remember we have a timetable in school you know when it's math period you know when it's english and science and so on now let's look at this timetable we have here as an example this timetable is showing us the options of bus trip that we could use to move around manchester city we have bus one bus two and bus three the bus moves from the bus station down to the cinemas that is the start point from the bus station the end point is the cinemas so it moves every day like that now you want to see how you can plan your trip and so you look at the timetable of the bus station and you see which one fits in to your timing now we have some questions here if you wish to enjoy the shortest trip around town which of the buses would you travel in you simply go to the bus uh, chart or the timetable maybe on their website and look at the buses available then you look at the start time and the end time for bus one the start time is 1 1305 what does this mean 1305 means that is the 13th hour of the day 1305 hours the 13th hour five minutes of the day or fifth minute of the day that means on the 12 hour time it will be 105 because another 12 hour for p.m has started counting so this bus one starts or moves by 105 look at where 105 is going to be this is where the minute hand is going to be 105 the bus is going to get to its final destination by two o'clock so now let's count how many minutes from uh 105 to two o'clock now we start counting from two the minutes the interval between each time is five minutes so from one five minutes to two then down to 12 between one and 12 we have 55 minutes you count you see that you we have 55 minutes between one and two five minutes three and four five minutes five and six five minutes on and on like that so in total we're gonna have 55 minutes now when the time again Okay, yeah, it says 2 o'clock. All right, good. On By 2 o'clock, it's going to be 55 minutes. So, bus 1 has 55 minutes. What about bus 2? Bus 2 takes off by 1.15. Here is where the minute hand will be. So, let's count from 1.15. And it says it gets to its destination by 2.15. I don't think we even need to count. 1.15 to 2.15 is exactly one hour. What about bus 3? Bus 3 takes off by 1.30. That's 13.30 hours. This is where the time take the takeoff time is from. And it ends on 2.10. That's 14.10. 2.10. So let's count from here. 2, 2. Then that uh, we'll have 10 minutes to 2. 10 minutes to 2 is going to be on 2. All right, so let's count from here. From 6 here to 12 will be 30 minutes. Then from 12, when it will be 2 o'clock already, to uh, 2 10 or 14 10 will be another 10 minutes. So 30 plus 10 is 40. If the first bus has 55 minutes, the second bus has one hour. And the third bus has 40 minutes. The best one to have the shortest trip in is bus 3. So it's just 40 minutes and that's the best trip we'll have. Now, the second question says the supermarket at city center closes for break at 1.50. This is 13.50. Now you understand this. What is the best bus to catch if you have to pick up groceries there? That's at the city center, the supermarket at the city center. Now let's see city center for bus one, bus two, and bus three. We must be there before 1.50 or 1350 hours. So let's see which one of the times is 
going to be before the, or which one of the time the bus will get there before 1350 bus one will get there at 1340 bus two will get there at 1345 and bus three will get there at 1440 now the best option here we have two options 1340 and 1345 that's bus one and two but what about getting down from the bus and walking down to the city center or walking down into the supermarket will it take you more than five minutes why don't we use bus one so we can be on the safe side and we're already in there picking up our groceries so that's before 1350 hours when they'll go on break and they'll shut the store so the best option now is bus one now i want to see a movie you want to see a movie the movie starts by 1410 which of the timetables are we going to check now cinemas that's the end point cinemas the movie starts by 1410 so what bus will you catch a movie starting by 1410 it starts that means you're already seated in the movies or in the cinemas by 1410 if you go for bus 3 1410 exactly you'll just be getting to the cinemas trying to go into the uh, uh to the room or the theater where the, the movie is is taking place so it's not advisable of course 14 15 is already past the time so the best option again will be bus one where you get there by 1400 hours and you have about 10 minutes to walk in there and do a couple of things settle down for the movie so that's the best option now you understand what it means to read timetables and of course you can make one for yourself as well i wish you ramadan mubarak once again students this is where we have the end of a lesson we'll have another review on our lessons again tomorrow take care of yourself and have a good day